Hey guys, it's cool guy Cheeto58 here, and I'm in a new game, or should I say game maker, uh, because we are in 001 Game Creator. Um, this is the main game uh, designer I use for when I make my games in free time. And yeah, so I'm thinking of maybe starting a new series on how to make a game in 001 Game Creator. So we're starting fresh. And yeah, so here's the introduction. Um, so let's go into demos and let's show what is possible. So 3D games are and 2D games are two of the possible things. Uh, right now I'm showing a 3D game, uh, and it's just not responding, but just it's loading. And actually, 001 Game Maker you can get for. Um, $66 Canadian on Steam, or you can get it for, I think that would be like $50. Anyway, so you can see here, this is just a demo. And I won't play it full because we're just doing a demo. And I want to actually show you. So what we're going to actually be doing is um, showing you how to make a sorry, uh, an RPG, a 3D, or 2D, sorry, RPG, and yeah, so here's part one. So I'll just look around a bit, and so here we can see, and it's not in full screen mode, because it's just, I put in test mode, uh, we got, now I don't know the controls, oh, uh, abracadabra for my pants are tight, let this be, uh, let in this room be, let in this room be once again light. Oh, the tongue twister. I'm really surprised it worked. Sorry, I thought that was like they just misspelled uh, spelled something. I was like, uh, I don't think that makes sense. Password. Pants. Wrong. Okay. So obviously we can see here pretty cool demo. Uh, I, maybe later, I won't, I think that's enough for now, yes, now that is a really cool demo, so I'll show you one for an RPG, and then we can start, so there's also a mobile game, two player fighting game, role playing game, space shooter, tic-tac-toe online, and tower defense, now these are just some of the demos, you can make almost anything. I mostly just make a little RPG games that are fun to play. Um, well, at least I find they're fun to play. So we'll just show. So obviously, I, I didn't make this. Uh, I like that music. You there. Look the adventure. I have a tie for you. Hope I don't get a copyright strike. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So I'll just walk around a bit. So you can see, looks really cool. Go inside. Now this is really cool. So this is just a demo, of course, and that music is so loud. So that, I think that's enough. And it shows our money, HP. And I'm going to quit out of that because that is really loud. So actually, let's get started with our own game. So we go into new game, obviously. Actually, you can even go open game because this is what you'll see when you start it up. And now we go new and action RPG because that's what we're doing. You can even actually start from de the demos. And there's actually 3D RPG, like I said. Uh, they're coming out soon with a 3D S FPS, so I'll probably cover that. MMORPG, that actually is out. I don't know why it says coming soon. There's Platformer, that is out. And Point and Click Adventure. So lots of cool stuff. That's coming too. Um, I think I'll cover all these eventually, but today we're going to start with the Action RPG. So let's name our game. What should we name it? Cool Starter game call it whatever you want i'm gonna call mine cool starter game 
So let's get started and let's load it up. And so now we're presented with a, just a blank map. Well, it's got some dirt tiles placed already and this is the starting map. And we can change the properties and we can make it bigger. So right now it's nine by nine by five. Uh, each tile is 32 by 32 pixels. Yeah, 32 is 32. And yeah, so let's make ours. You know what? For my RPG, I want to start it inside the house. And I want to do it how that they just woke up. And we're going to make a bedroom. So it's not going to be a huge bedroom because that would look weird. Um, I'll do 10 by... Let's do 10 by 10. Just one bigger. And... Okay, so now what we want to do is we go into, oh, actually first we have to go into draw. Let me click on that and we go into floor. So that's a black tiled thing. And we go, so for ground, this is all the ground. So this is obviously dirt that they've already placed. So we can erase that. It always starts with dirt, but you don't have to erase it because you can always just put stuff over top of this, but... I find it easier just to start completely blank. Um, so we're going to put in wood. And we could just draw it in like this. But for big maps, that's going to take a long time. So why don't we just go into this little bucket here and we say fill. And now that fills in the entire thing. Great. So we got our starter. Um, floor. So now we go into the brick wall here. And that's obviously walls. And inside, I think I'm going to have a brick wall because it's going to look like really cool. Like a, I forgot that the fill was in. Sorry about that. So we go back to the pencil, which is uh, for just single. And we're going to do all around here. And uh oh, we made a mistake. So we go into the erase here and we just erase. Simple as that. And now I'm going to go. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to go like this. And like that, so that it looks uh, better. You can do it like this, and but if you don't, you can just do it like uh, all this and just refill in uh, this. I'm actually gonna for this project. I feel like actually doing that, and I'm actually gonna make this house, this bedroom, a little smaller because it seems a bit big. So we're gonna make this seven by seven. And now, well, well, for our bedroom, we're going to go in the lower, uh, what's that, lower objects. And we go around into furniture one. And here we got a nice little bed. And you can make all of these by yourself. And I'll show you right after this. So let's make our bedroom first. Uh, whoops. I'm going to place it right here. Perfect. So we got our bed. Now we need some more furniture. And let's put in a wooden drawer. I grabbed it. Yeah. Uh, let's put it right there. Now, these are all like the starter ones. Um, you don't have to use these, like I just said. You can make your own. Uh, but they're always there to use them in case you want to. So now, I think that's good. I think I might put down... Where is it? Um... Hold on right now. Okay, so decoration. There's the nice big blue rug. And I'm just going to place this down right here. Looks nice. And we'll put down a suit of armor right in the corner. So we got our nice um, suit of armor. So now if we want to add a window, we go into upper objects. And where is it? Windows. And pick whatever window you want. I'm going to pick this one. And oh, right. So this just tell uh, just remind me of something. So now I can't go any higher, and that's where it goes. That is a problem. So now to fix this, and you can also see uh, if you see right there, it kind of like uh, the sprite messes up. That is because we put the wall right up to the top, and that is my mistake, actually. So we're gonna erase that, erase all of this. And it's fine. We can all put it back. And we take our wall and we just draw it back. Actually, you know what? 
We should erase the, that one first. And we can just leave that blank. It's fine. So now that should be better. Um, so now we can put in the window and look, it works. Now what you get, uh, what you might say is that, hey, does it, cool guy, does that do it same? So will the window always be there? Actually, you can bring it down here and you can still have the window in the right spot or even higher. So if you want a window like up higher, you're gonna have to move the wall down. That's just something to keep in mind. And now, oh shoot, wasn't in a race. Uh, so we'll put all this back now, big blue rug, and right there. Oh, and to move around, you just move around the mouse wheel or you can just do this. So let's put down a bed. And now you can you can do like just part of a bed and like if you want like an effect where it looks like it's continuing on, but you don't. Um, and yeah, the only thing though is that they can't intersect because look, it'll take out a chunk. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, that's a little problem, but I'll show you how to fix that in a later video. Uh, so for now, just don't place stuff over top. And I'm actually going to undo, 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 instead of having to place all that back. Uh, and undo, you just go edit, undo, redo. Uh, where's that last thing? You know what? Instead of, a, instead of that, let's put a picture, a nice picture above our bed. And we'll just put a window. And we're not going to put the suit of armor, actually. Changed my mind. Because I have something cooler window there and now I have something cooler actually maybe we need I'm gonna put a crate instead this time or a little wooden table I guess but it looks like a crate I call it a crate uh, put that window back and now for here we're gonna be really cool and where is it gaming we're gonna have an arcade game Sweet. So we got our nice little arcade game here. You can even um, put a pinball machine, a couple of pinball machines, foosball table, all kinds of stuff. There's really cool uh, starter things. So now that we've got that, uh, you're probably going to say, uh, ask, when you, in when you in try and interact with the arcade game, does it do anything? No but we can set it to do something. Um, I'll show that later, but right now I'm gonna show you how to set so that we can interact with our bed. Cause if, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, if we wanna try playing it right now, we just go into test or you can go play. Um, test, you only really do if you wanna do like a different test, if you wanna try a test script or you wanna try emulating a different device. So like uh, uh, we can do it on an iPhone. Um, yeah, and so when we try and interact with it, enter key is to interact, does nothing, but we can set that. So I will do that right now. So what we want to do is we want to get this zone and we're going to drag it all across the bed. You don't have to, if you don't want to, but just make sure you get most of the bed that your character can. Uh, interact with and we're gonna do um, action key pressed beside zone so we want to click that and we click edit script We can even change the display name if you want to be fancy and call it bed uh, but you don't have to you can just keep it zero it won't mess up anything so right here we're gonna do um, now we're gonna do something a little script um, you can do it another way, but it's more complicated, but for simple simplicity, we can just do show in and you can just, so this is more for when you're interacting with an NPC and you want to, um, like they have a in and you want to talk, uh, stay the night, but you can also use it actually for your own bed. And you can just, instead of saying, so you want it to stay the night, you can just ask, would you like to sleep and we do price zero because it's your own bed obviously but if you want it to be an NPC uh, we can set that and I'll show you that 
well, in a little bit. Uh, yes button, obviously yes. But we can change it to heck yes. And instead of no, we can do heck no. Uh, and the good night message, uh, that's for once you accept it. And cannot afford message, I'm sorry, but you don't have enough money. So if it was a certain price, then it won't, uh, then it won't work. Sleepy music, we can set that. So we got a nice array of different sounds. There's actually, where is it? Sleep, there's a bunch of different ones. I think I'm gonna set that one as my sleep. And it automatically does all of it for you. This is a way simpler way if you want to do it. No transaction, just transaction. So if you wanna continue after that into something else, but we don't have to. So we just do okay. Um, it's a lot easier if you want to do like a uh, like a sleep thing. It's just easier to do that. <coughs> okay, so we'll go play this time, and we're we'll do no emulation. And so now, when we press enter, would you like to sleep? And sorry about that. That's in the way. Uh, can I make this a little bigger? And then you, there. Heck yes. Heck no. Now we can do it with mouse or we can do it with arrows. And to uh, to pick something, we press enter. So if we press no, it just does nothing, it, it's done. But if we want to say yes, our message plays. And so does the music. And now when you do this in, it actually restores your health, which is this red uh, ball here. And when as we get like hurt that'll get small and smaller but when you go to sleep it'll revive it all back to full so now i'm going to show you how to do an npc uh, whoops uh we're gonna actually go in i always get these two confused sprite and actor so we're gonna click actor and we're gonna uh we can put it anywhere in our room I'm going to put my actor right here, and he's going to be a character, because it's a character that we need. And we can change uh, We can change all this, so skin color. I'm going to make my, or we can actually change the body type. So if we want it, I don't know why that's there, but uh, you can even talk to Spider, actually, if you want. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, we're just going to leave ours a male, and we're going to make him, let's make him green. He's going to be a cool alien. So we got nice bright uh, green skin there, and we're going to make his face. Uh, we're going to make face, it actually means eyes, but I don't know why it says that. We're going to make cool red. So you can see his red eyes there. Hair, actually, eyes you can actually change that, re not really, but short hair you can change to afro, buzz cut, long hair, all these. I'm going to give him an afro because that would look cool. And he's going to have blue afro hair. Yeah, that would look cool. Oh, yeah, he's rocking that afro. We can do a mask, but we're not going to do a mask, which is sunglasses. Hat, we're not going to do a hat because I don't really feel like it. And shoes, let's pick some random colors. Ooh, sure, why not? Cool, funky clothes and yellow shirt will look cool and there he's rocking so that is our actor here and so now we can if we just do nothing he does nothing that's how it works uh so now if we want to actually do it if we try point it doesn't do it uh, we can still um uh do it edit it sorry and we go into, but if we want to actually make him do something, we got to go into talk to slash activated. We could also do these, but we're not going to do that right now. Talk to, and let's make this guy have a sh little shop. Um, or actually, no. We'll say hi first. So we press message box and we say hello. And we say we can give choice one, choice two, choice three, choice four. Choice five. Uh, that's five different options for dialogue. So different options. So he says hello, and you can. We'll have a nice one. It says, 
Hi there. And we can have a mean one. Ooh. Go away. Smelly. Or we could just do or we could just say goodbye. So he doesn't do anything. So now we have these little things down here and we have and it shows where it comes off. So for hi there, if they pick hi there, then it'll go into the next thing script that they want. Uh, that corresponds to that. Uh, go away smelly and goodbye. So for goodbye, we're gonna, not going to have anything. It's just going to end. So if we just leave it ending then uh, with nothing, it'll just end. So go away smelly, we'll just say click here. We'll click out of that message box and we'll say that's not nice. And just and now it's automatically going to connect it. So we just click right click it and we just drag it and it'll be red to show we can connect it to anyone and we're going to connect it to the middle one because that's go away smelly that's not nice um, and for hi there you can, you can do say uh, actually cancel show shop actually first let's do a message box that says would you like to see uh, my stuff I have for sale would you like to see my shop? Question mark. Yes or no. So we can we can and we can drag this anywhere. That's the a beauty about this. It's so simple. Um, so now for yes, we'll do show shop, and we'll just leave no empty. And now greeting text. What would you like to do? Uh, anything else text? Well, obviously this all corresponds. If you want to change this though, you can easily change. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah. Player selling. Now we can ch uh, set what we have for sale. Now let's have him just sell a little. Let's have him sell. Oh, what should we sell? And there's all a bunch of different preset. Let's have him sell a pistol, or no, a sword, because that's simple. Um, and he'll he can sell that for 150 gold. Now you're gonna say, how do we get the gold, cool guy? And that's how we do it. So we're done with our thing now. I'm just gonna drag that over a bit. And that is our little script. So we press OK. Make sure you press OK, and we press OK again. Okay, so now let's do how we get the gold. So we'll go into zone and let's say we find it in the arcade machine. Yeah. So when we press action key, press beside zone, we'll do okay. Now we can just go into this uh, action key. Okay, so for this, we're going to say message box, you find 200 gold in the machine. And we're gonna not going to have any options, so it'll just go right to the next one. And we will go to change money. And we're going to put set or add an amount of money. For, we're gonna do 200 now the delay you can choose how long the delay is for but we're not gonna have a delay and that's it so it just adds 200 gold so now let's see our little thing in action we'll go into play no emulation you can try it if you want but I'm not going to and I know it's, it's tiny because it's just testing so we can go in our bed we can sleep but we're not going to now, if we try talking to him, hi there, go away, Smelly. That's not nice. And then the conversation ends. You could say, goodbye, conversation ends. Hi there, would you like to see my shop? No, the conversation ends. <laughs> yes, what would you like to do? And it gives us all this. Oh, we already had a thousand uh, set already, so sorry, I didn't know that.
but we'll go buy and we're gonna go sword for 150 how many let's buy uh let's buy two. Oh, oh, there huh it's not That's weird. Oh, okay then. We bought one. <laughs> Sorry, that's not working for some reason. It's not letting me buy multiple more than... Oh, well. Anyway, and we can sell our sword back for 75 half price. Sell it. And now we have $925. $925. Keep that in mind. We go into machine. Say, you find 200 gold in the machine. Yay! And now... Let's just do blah, blah, blah. Now we see we have 1,125. Uh, 1, so one up by 200. So it all worked. So, seems like we got a successful game now. So now this is the first step to becoming your own game maker, famous person making games. Now, if you do actually become famous, make sure to give me a little bit of credit. But that concludes our video for today. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure to give me credit. No, I'm kidding. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see ya later. Thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like or a comment as it really helps me out, but don't feel like you have to. You can subscribe for more gaming and unboxing videos every week. If you did leave a dislike, please tell me why as I'm always trying to improve my videos. Thank you. Goodbye.